Okay, so we're gonna make some fried apple pies. Yes. Yeah. And we're starting off with dried apples. Yes, that I peeled and, and uh, dried myself, nobody else. Okay, and we just pulled them out of the deep freeze in a pillowcase. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that I'm putting them on to cook, I put water in them enough to come up to, to ain't quite enough. We've got to have a little more water. You got to just have it enough to cover them? Or yeah, what? just barely, barely come up to the top of them. That's enough. See the water just right at the top of them. Okay. When they get hot, they're, all this swelling will go down out of them. And that's, that'll be it for, for today. Now tomorrow, I will put the, the sugar and cinnamon and all spice in them to make the pies. But that's all I'll do to them today. Is so you're going to leave it on the stove and you're going to cook it for how long? Oh, they have to boil about... I'll say 30 minutes. Take them about 45 minutes to really cook. But uh, right now, what I meant, uh, they got to boil for about, well, till they get tender. Okay. Till they get tender. So I can't say exactly how long. I never really time one to tell you the truth about it. So, so these, when you dried them, you basically just took apples, peeled them, yeah. sliced them, put them on a baking sheet, and stuck them in the oven to dry them out there? Yeah. I'll show you how I've done that. I've got two, two cooking sheets like this. And I filled it full. I peeled the apples first and cored them and sliced them. And I laid them sliced all put them on here and laid them fully on this. Then I put them in the oven like this. Go this way. And of course, I put this shelf back up here another notch and put them in there. Put so, about there. the center of the shelf oven, right? Yeah, center of the oven. Take a clothespin because you got to let the steam out of the oven. And you want to put the oven on on the warm on 200 on the bake. Or that's what, no, I put it on time bake. On time bake is what it was on. Okay. I had, had to try it out to see. On 200. And then you put this in there where it'll hold that oven open enough to let the, you can put your fingers in there yourself. Yeah. And the steam comes out of the yeah, oven. Yeah, see the lights on in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, All right, so then you just. And then after. After they stay in there all night, they come out soft a little bit, but still they'll be dried a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And then bring them out, and I'll set them up here on the table, empty that pan into something like this kind of pan, or else a pie pan, aluminum pie pan like this. Right. Put them in that, set them on the table, and just do them this way every once in a while. Let the air get through them for like a couple of days, and then we're ready to put them in the pillowcase. Put them in the freezer. So why do you put them in the pillowcase? They have to be put in something. That, I don't know why. Is there anything? I didn't know if somebody did it before you, and well, that's why you did it. Well, of course, Mama did. Okay. And that's all I know, and that's why that's why Grandma done them, and Mama done like Grandma. Mm-hmm. And I do them like mama because that's all oh, the way well, I knew. Oh, well, that's how we do it then. That's all the way I knew how all to right. do it. All right, so that's how we bake them. We dry them. Mm-hmm. And then we just pull some out, and we're going to get these ready to make pies tomorrow. Yes. So. Yes. Hopefully, I can be available for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is the next day. She had cooked them for about 30 minutes. And this is what they 
turned into. Mm -hmm. These were the dried apples. We just added water and you added allspice, cinnamon, and... Not yet. Oh, you haven't done that yet? That's coming. Oh, that's just the apples. This is just apples with some sugar in it. Okay. Here goes sugar. Ooh. We're going to put in about a half a cup of sugar. Then we're going to... One of those was open already. Yeah. That name. This one is. Okay. I've got to have a little spoon out of the drawer. Okie dokie. Now we're going to measure. So a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of allspice. Mm -hmm. And one more thing. One more. We're going to do about a half a spoon of nutmeg. Oh, okay. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So we might have mentioned earlier, we're going to call this a fried apple pie. Some people might have a different name for it. They might call it a ap fried apple fritter. fritter, or I wouldn't call it a turnover, but they could. Well, I guess. yeah, you can, there's some people call it a turnover, apple turnover. I've heard that. And she's mashing it all up. I'm going to go out the window real quick. Out the kitchen window here and look at her tomatoes she's got growing you got are they all the same tomatoes no you got some different ones in there uh, Janice has brought me part of her that she's got some white tomatoes I've got a couple of three white tomatoes and I've got a striped tomato she brought mm. yellow striped tomato white and, tomatoes yellow striped and then I bought the uh, one a uh, four let me think what they are now. Uh, they're red tomato, but I can't think of the name of them right like now. Like a beef steak or something? No. No, I wouldn't have a beef steak. And then you got some peppers out there too, right? Yeah, oh yeah. I got that. A nine or, t well, I had ten heels, but I think one of them's going to die in spite of all. She brought a bunch of peppers and I bought some, so I've got more peppers and I don't know what to do with them. Oh, you can always freeze them. She's using canola oil. Mm -hmm. I would probably use a coconut oil or something, avocado or something <laughs> a little bit different. Okay, 
All right, so now we've opened the can of biscuits and thrown down some flour, and now she's rolling the biscuits out, and this is what's going to make the crust for our apple pies. Now, when we say apple pie, we're, we're not talking in the term of a, a pie in a pie pan with a bottom crust and, a, and the uh, lattice crust on top. That's not the kind of pie we're making here. This is just going to be fried in the skillet. And if you don't want to call it a pie, you don't have to. You can call it anything else. That's what you do with dried apples. You don't make a regular pie with dried apples. You have to make them in the kernel with pie. Right. Must have been hurrying Riley because that's pie now. You see, you roll out your biscuits and make the dough. And now here goes the apples. Now I'm putting the apples into the pie, into the biscuit to make the, the pie. We done put all the seasoning in it that goes in it. Okay. We bring that over and we lock this in. We lock the apples in the dough. Will it lock like that or do you need to put an egg wash on it? Or? No. We don't put no egg wash on it. Gotta have a fork. Right, I need a fork. Right. There's a fork right here in the sink. All right. Now I'm gonna put this in the in the hot oil. I took that oil off so it wouldn't be it too hot. And you're doing two at a time. And how long do you think you cook them for? Just till they get brown, or do you have a time limit on them? No, I just watch them until they till they go to get brown. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe six minutes or seven minutes to the side. They're done then. All See, right, your apples is already cooked. Right, right. And what it is is just you're just cooking your biscuit here. That's all you call it. I call it biscuit. Ready for us. Uh, get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can smell it. It's starting to smell good already. <laughs> I'm sure there's different variations of this. Now, where did you learn how to cook this? Mama. Your mom. And of course she learned from grandma. Okay, so we're going back some time on this one. Mm -hmm. so, just have this is browning around the edge right okay. here. So that's just about ready to turn over. Sorry about the lighting here. Let's see here. Yep. Let's see the brown mm -hmm. edges. So she's about ready to flip it. Alright, so she's got two in the fryer and she's getting the Third getting one. ready for number three over here while that one's cooking. She's making use of her time. You have to when you when you're cooking these, when you're making these, you gotta make make yourself have work fast. Yeah, it's hard to find those rolling pins. A lot of people now, they just have the plastic ones that you fill with water, mm -hmm, I think. Mm-hmm. That was Mama's. And, of course, she had it all together when she got married. So that's how old that is. Oh, so that's what she used to hit your dad with, huh? Yeah. Okay. Then maybe I got a better view over here. Now, there we Oh, there we are. Look at that. We are frying it on up. And we don't have the grease too hot. Just hot enough to put a slow cook on it. Alright. And if y'all 
can smell this right here. My heaven. And then I have my plate ready. Platter, whatever you want to call it. I can take time to get a platter. I got a plate. Alright everybody, this is where I'm at. I'm at Grandma's house up in Kentucky. And she's back there making up the second batch of fried apple pies. And uh, yeah, so y'all give this a shot. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have a uh, different recipe on these fried apple pies or fritters or turnovers or whatever you want to call them and uh, leave a comment below and I appreciate you uh, checking this out. Alright, thanks again.